going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time some bills, baby. It's it. Today, we got 79 mods on the testing list. We are one week away from the Pumps and Hoses DLC release, and we've got eight modders to talk about, including a new, more efficient cotton trailer. Like this. Let's check it out. Starting off today with the mods in testing. Currently, we've got 79 mods on the list. 77 of those are in stage one, and two are in stage two of testing. Maps in the first stage of testing right now include Adding in Park, Burneath, Maybow, Newfinner Valley, Riverside 22, Yangovin Countryside, Lost Corner, and Timber Plantation. Again, as I mentioned yesterday, this one could be a mod, but kind of sounds like a map to me. Speaking of mods, some notable mods in stage one of testing right now include the Colossus Arian 504200, Concrete Production, and the Farmall 460 560. Also in testing, we've got Gravity Wagon, Ice Cream Production, International 37, and the New Holland T8 US. Rounding out the Stage 1 mods, we've got Pancake Production, Placeable Pumpkins, Steiger Series 2, and the Tiger Cat LH822D. Oh yeah, and there's a Volvo L50 wheel loader in there too, just for fun. Making our way down into Stage 2 of testing, the only map in testing right now is La Cornella, and the only other mod in testing is the Lizard 4T. With all that being said, we still have 123 mods sitting waiting to be tested, down from 161 yesterday, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is also down to four work days. We are one week away from the Pumps and Hoses DLC release, which is going to include more than 30 items from the Dutch manufacturer Schouten, German steel storage specialist Stalkamp, and the Biogas Tech manufacturers BVL and 2G Energy. The DLC will be implementing three new gameplay components, umbilical systems, manure separation, and configurable biogas plants. We've already received 23 different pieces of equipment and placeables from fact sheets with only one more Friday fact sheets to go. We could be seeing a sneak peek for the rest soon. There's also a web page for the DLC where you can find specific information on each piece of equipment or placeable that's been shown off so far. Make sure I leave that link below. The last bit of overall information on the DLC, it's going to be released next Tuesday, September the 27th for all platforms. The Pumps and Hoses DLC is a third party DLC by Creative Mesh and it is not from Giant Software. Therefore, it is not part of the year one season pass, so you will have to get it if you want it. It's going to be $17.99 USD for all platforms. I'll leave links below if you guys want to pick it up. One cool feature of this DLC is that it features a version of Wapster's hose system made popular in FS19, but that was on PC only. This time, it'll be for all platforms and will be included with this DLC. Are you getting pumps and hoses? Let me know. The next Farming Simulator League tournament is right around the corner and sign up is open right now. The event's going to take place on Saturday, October 22nd and Sunday, October 23rd, starting at 10 a.m. CEST, 4 a.m. Eastern. Check the link below and give it a look. Jumping into today's modern news, we've got more progress on LR Modding's John Deere 4830 self-propelled sprayer with almost everything being completed with a few things left to go in GE and getting it completely in game. The mod's going to feature a 36 meter boom with seven different sections of control, 3,785 liter capacity, hydrostatic drivetrain, 280 horsepower, 30 mile per hour max speed, and it starts at $468,000. This has been made for all platforms, and as you can tell, it's moving along very quickly. I love those track options. They may not be for everyone, but I need them in my life. Agritolno's finished up their John Deere 6 Ilm and is forwarding it off for testing. Specs today include four different engine options. We have the 6170, 6190, 6210, and the 6210 with a chip tune. Power ratings are going to be between 170 and 240 horsepower. Five different tire brands with lots of options. Window tent numbering on a tractor from one to nine or nothing. Exhaust options, cabin accessories, and a lot more. It's also going to feature the Asaria Pro compact sensor to be used alongside precision farming. This mod has been made for all platforms, and as far as I can tell, it's with Giants right now waiting. Agritono finishes up by saying that the next mod that they're going to be working on or finishing up is the F-350, which I know you guys have been waiting on. Hopefully, we'll have some more progress to show of this soon. So Vertex has some updated information for us today on their Valmet tractor, and it's currently getting all of the original stickers and decals from the original one as they were in real life. That's pretty cool. He's also still working on the animation sounds, and it's going to have two different engine options. They actually drive this exact tractor in real life for work, so no one better to make it than Sir Vertex. As for the John Deere in these pictures, uh, they didn't say anything about it, but they do say that they're going to be starting work on a green and red Brazilian planter soon. So 
keep an eye out for that. I wonder what it could be. The other mod that they're working on right now in the background is the TAC 21000. This is another sugarcane type trailer, an overloading type, similar to the Lizard TAC 10,000, which is actually our mod hub right now for all platforms. But as you can tell from the numbers, 21,000, 10,500, this new one's going to be twice as large. That's pretty cool. Hispanic Modding is back with us today for the first time in actually quite a few weeks, showing off their new cotton trailer as they've been working on it, the McCormick Industries Cotton Tag Trailer. They're going to have at least two different versions of this with the 5,000 and the 3,000. The 5,000, at least shown here, is a semi-truck style trailer with room for five bells and lots of customization options, including wheel brands, wheel setup, side lights, beacon lights, hitch config, main, and rim colors. The 3000 resembles the trailer that we already have in-game. However, it is upgraded with the gooseneck and the same customization options as the 5000. However, I will say it looks like both of them will have either the gooseneck or semi-truck hitch options. And of course, you can't forget about the regular hitch in the version that we've already got in the game. That'll be included too. This is going to be a really cool trailer. Definitely gives players the ability to transport cotton bales in a different way and hopefully in a much easier way as well. For those of you that have been waiting on the Tchaikovsky Uprawa Pasava mods from JHHG Modding and Sid Modding, they are currently on hold as they're waiting on more information on the license decision to get them onto console. From the information that they have shared, it sounds like it's been in the pipeline for months now, just waiting to hear back official word. Heck, I even dropped my video showing these off for the first look on July 2nd. July 2nd. Today's September the 20th. It was almost ready back then, so I'm not sure what the holdup is right now other than the naming, I guess, but I'll keep you guys posted. In the meantime, they have not forgotten about this pack. It's just a waiting game. A couple small tools for you guys. Hulse FS showcases more progress on getting their three-point scraper in the game. Lots of detail with the hoses done and the model seemingly finished. Just another cool mod to add to your collection to farm exactly the way that you want to. GNFS is doing the same thing, but with a three-point transport box with a few different configurations with an open area, rear bar, side, side bars with an open back, or completely closed in. If you're doing small stuff on your farm or you just need a box to help feed chickens every morning, this may just do the trick and make great stuff. Unlike these segues to the outro, which are never, quote, great stuff. It's more of a jumbled mess of words and letters splashed around in the bowl with like very little seasoning, like no seasoning. Probably how K-Bot eats his Sammies. Ugh, that's nasty. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's gonna be released. And if I didn't talk about something you wanna know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about what's going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. But then, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Yo, precision farming, maze plus, pumps and hoses. Oh!